Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, for God is truly worthy to be praised. Thank God for a new day. Thank God for all that he is doing in our lives. Um, I'm just so honored on this morning just to say, God is my God. He's my King, he's my Savior, and I hope that he is all of that to you and more. My Redeemer, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> but to God be the glory. I hope everyone's doing well. I just wanted to um, encourage once again on this morning in the Word of God. Um, the Lord said to me this morning, is there anything too hard for me? And um, I want to just ask you to ask yourself, is there anything too hard for the Lord? And... Um, we know that there is nothing hard and nothing impossible that God cannot do and will not do. If we ask him according to his word and his will, he will do it. So whatever it is that you're going through, I came to let you know that there is nothing too hard for God to do. There is nothing that he won't do according to his will and word. So I just want you to know that whatever you're going through, God is faithful God is sovereign. He is Lord. He is King. He is ruler. He will take care of it. Whatever the worry is, whatever the concern is, he's just reminding me to remind you that nothing is too hard for God. Nothing is too hard for God. What we think might be a difficult situation, might be an extreme challenge, might be an obstacle or a hurdle that we can't get over. It might seem to be a mountain, but God is he can do anything. He can move mountains. So there is nothing too hard for God. I'm going to read just really quickly Jeremiah chapter uh, 32. And verse 17, it says, actually verse 17 and verse 17 says, O sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and the earth by your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. You show unfailing love to thousands, but you also bring the consequences of the of the generation sins upon the next and the great powerful God, the Lord of heaven's armies. You have all wisdom and do great and mighty miracles. You see the conduct of all people and give them what they deserve. God is miraculous in all of his ways. Jeremiah Press said, O sovereign Lord, he says, You made the heavens and the earth by your strong hand and powerful arm, nothing is too hard for you. So, and, and, and once again, Jeremiah says it again in verse 26. Uh, he says, then the message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. I am the Lord, the God of all people of the world. Is there anything too hard for me? So the Lord reminded Jeremiah that there was nothing as he was in battle and he was purchasing land and he was conducting business and he was uh, consulting the Lord. He said, just remember, I am God and there is nothing too hard for me. He says, I am the God of all earth. And he specifically says, I am the Lord God of all people of the world. Is there anything too hard for me? He didn't just say that I am the God of Jeremiah. I am the God of David. I am the God of Daniel. He said, I am the God of all people of the earth. So on this morning, I just want you to be encouraged and know that God is so faithful to his word. He's the God of all people of the world. So on this morning worldwide, we know that everybody has a situation. We can imagine that everybody needs something from the Lord on this morning. And I would encourage you to remind yourself that there is nothing too hard for God. God is the same God that actually he said to Daniel, he was going to bring him out and he brought him out. He said to the Shunammite woman that I'm going to give you a woman through the prophet, um, to give you a prophet, um, to the prophet Elijah. He said, I'm going to give you a son through the prophet Elijah. He said to Zach, he said to uh, Zacchaeus changed his ways. He, he raised Lazarus from the dead. He's the same God that can do anything anything. He is the same God that allowed the Messiah to came to come forward. He birthed into the wombs of Mary a uh, seed for his seed for us to be here on today. So this is the kind of God when I think about the love of Christ. 
when I think about the love of our Father. So is there anything too hard for God? No. No. There is nothing too hard for God. There is no situation, no dilemma, no worry. Nothing is too hard for God. So on this morning, we're going to pray and we're going to give our burdens. We're going to lay the concerns, the worry. We're going to lay down depression on this morning. We're going to lay down fatigue, anxiety, stress. That is overwhelming the world. And we're going to remind you that the Father, He owns it all. He owns everything. He owns everything. So there is nothing too hard for God. So I'm going to encourage you on this morning to believe. Because it is by faith that, that He is moved. It is by faith that we move. It is by faith that we breathe. It is by His word. Without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. So I'm going to remind you on this morning that let your faith increase. Let your understanding of the Father, who He is, He owns everything, the skies and the clouds, the heavenly places. Your desire should be His heavenly kingdom. Your desire should be Him. So whatever it is on this morning, we're going to pray that your heart be at peace, that God will give you peace on this morning. Father, I thank you on this morning. Father God, we say thank you. So let us pray. Come in and begin to say thank you. Thank you. God, I thank you. Because I know, oh God, that there is nothing impossible with you. I know that there is nothing too hard for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. I come to say thank you. Glory, hallelujah, God. I thank you for the peace. This peace that you would breathe upon the earth. This peace of you, O oh God, that you would rest upon your people. Father, you said you are king of all earth. You are God of the entire earth. You did not say specifically you're just one God of one area, but you said God of the entire world. Father, I thank you on this morning that you are loving and kind. I thank you, O oh God, for for your love and your grace and your mercy. God, on this morning, we come needing you, O oh God, like never before. Father, the Namakusa Mama Soturoshi. Ah. I come to remove heaviness on this morning from the nation. I declare that heaviness would be removed in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold, every heaviness, every burden, every weight, every depression, every sickness, every disease, every lack, every poverty, every mindset, every disturbance, every confusion, every anger, every bitterness, every jealousy, every malice, every hatred, every evil spirit. Oh God, that is not like you. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is not of God, be removed in the name of Jesus. The spirit of witchcraft, in the name of Jesus, be removed. The spirit of pride, be removed from God's people, in the name of Jesus. Before a fall, pride comes before a fall. Father, on this morning, remove the prideful spirits of man, that they would humble themselves in your presence. God, that they will know them all, that they will know you, God, as the Christmasia, as the faithful Savior, as the loving Father. Father, on this morning, I come to remove the spirit of arrogance in the name of Jesus. Spirits in the name of Jesus. High mindedness in the name of Jesus. Let all men decrease and decree in you, God, that they would lay prostrate in your presence, that they would fall on their knees and know, God, that you are a God that give it and you are. God, that take it away, but God, you said you would provide that which we are in need of. So, Father, on this morning, I pray for a spirit of humility throughout the nation. Let the fate of the people be into you, God, not into their wealth, not into their selves, not into their possessions, their worldly possessions. But I pray that the fate of the nation rest and remain in the Father, the creator of all things. God, on this morning, I say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for you are able to do all things. We know, God, that you crossed the Mikuruma, that you part the Red Sea, you said in your word. 
There is nothing too hard for you, God. So on this morning, Father, we say thank you. Thank you, God, for your love. Let your love move and reign in the lives of your people, Jesus. Let the nation feel and know the love of Christ because you said in your word, God, that you are love. You said, God, without love, we it is impossible, oh God, to love you without love, God. Father, we thank you on this morning that the love of Christ shared abroad in our hearts that we would be able to extend your smile and your grace and your, and your love towards our brothers and sisters everywhere, God. So, Father, on this morning, let the love of Christ be felt in the nations that are feeling void in the hearts that are feeling void in the lives of your people that are void of you let them kusa. let them be reminded God that you are love father God you died on the cross to show the greatest example of love God you give your only son Jesus oh God to die for us God and I say thank you thank you for the gift of your love God father we thank you on this morning because your love extends beyond our own thoughts and imagination so God on this morning we come to to say thank you thank you thank you holy spirit thank you father thank you god thank you we walk in your word we walk knowing god that we walk with you and we say thank you thank you for your love build up a people god that their faith would be increased in you god that their hope would be in you god that they would be reminded god that there is nothing too hard for you there is nothing that you cannot do there is nothing that you will not do so father on this morning i thank you god that your word is true and faithful i thank you god that you are miraculous god hallelujah god you oh god do miracles in the time like like this, God, open the eyes of the nation that they would request miracles from you, that they would look and desire and see things that are happening, and they would see a handiworks at hand, God, and they would they would see the performance of the Almighty Savior, Father. On this morning. I thank you for miracles that will be taking place. I thank you for deliverance that will take place in the nation. I thank you, God, for doors that will be open, God. I thank you for the heavenly, oh God, heavens and the windows of heavens that will be pouring down blessings upon the nation. I thank you, God, that man would expect and walk in expectation of your word. I thank you, God, that you would, oh God, meet the needs of a nation. Father God, you said as it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. So on this morning, I come to say there is no lack in heaven. And I pray that the mindset of God's people would be changed. I bind the spirit of defeat even before you even ask. I come against everything that is not like you. I come against defeat in the minds on this morning. But I did kusa. I encourage you to to declare the word of the Lord upon your lives. That there would be change. That there would be deliverance. That there would be an overflowing of abundance in the name of Jesus. That there would be more than enough. That there would be salvation to your homes. That there would be, oh God, prosperity in your land in the name of Jesus. Father God, more importantly, God, I pray that souls would be saved. I pray that the Lord of Mama Masotro, I pray that hearts would be surrendered to you, Jesus. I pray that there would be a turnaround, God, to the Masikorosia, that men would seek you, God, that they would know, God, that you are all, oh God, that they need. Father, let there be a peace in you. Father God, on this morning, the Makusa Tasha to Rokoro Masitia Krasia, Lucro Shatroma Mamma Saturosidia, Mosatro Crosidia, Lady Kuro Shatroma, let your people give away the Messidia Makurosa, let your people, God, let the Mamma Rekrumasa move out of their own ways. Hallelujah, Jesus. Okuromasi, move out of your own ways on this morning, but trust in Jesus. Mukurasa, Ikarashatrosa. He is your savior. He is the king of king and lord of lords. He will give you peace on this morning. Move out of your own way. Move out of your own way. Move out of your own way and trust the Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, Father, on this morning, I say thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus, thank you. Thank you for what you have already done. Let the Amakusa Tarasi Mary Kurosha, may your understanding be enlightened. May the word of God fill your hearts. 
May you walk in the wisdom of the Lord. May you walk in the love of the Lord. May the peace of the Lord be upon you and your household. May your household be blessed in the name of Jesus. May you fear the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. May the fear of the Lord be with you as you honor and respect the Father. May you walk in the love of the Father on this morning. So God, we come to say we adore you, Jesus. Father, I magnify you. I come to say I love you, Lord. I come to say thank you. Hallelujah, God, I thank you. Glory to your name. We bless your name on this morning for your works. Hallelujah. See me, me, Kurusha. I bless you for your works and your might. I thank you, God, for your love. I thank you for your heart. Your heart of compassion towards your people. Father, I thank you for the grace of God that rests upon and remain with us for always. Let your peace be upon your people. These things we ask in no other name than the sovereign name of our almighty Savior. We come to say we love you, Lord. And we say thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is worthy. So on this morning and always trust in the Lord and ask yourself, is there anything too hard for God. There is nothing impossible with God. All things are possible to them that believe. All things are possible to them that believe. So I encourage you on this morning to believe the word of the Lord. Believe what God is saying. Believe what he is doing. Believe that he will come through. Believe that he has already made ways. Believe that he would comfort your heart. Believe that he would give you your joy. Believe that he would return, oh God, back to you what the enemy has to stolen. Back to you, your health. Back to you, your minds. Back to your heart. I bind confusion on this morning. I feel the heaviness. Haram Hasiyam Reshitru, a heaviness in the hearts of men, Fukadamasi and the minds that are wandering and just going astray. But on today, I come to tell you, God is a Kurumasi. God is a healer. God is a redeemer. He's a restorer. He's a deliverer. He can do anything. There is nothing too hard for God. Trust the Lord always and believe that He can do. What his word says he can do. He says he can do it. He will do it. So believe that he will do it. So there's nothing too hard for God. So be blessed on today and have faith. Hold your head up. Smile. Hold your head up and look to the Savior. Hold your head up and trust him because he will do unexpected things. Just make your request made known. God is waiting to hear from you. Be blessed.